Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Being able to speak freely with native speakers is an amazing ability in itself. But being able to speak freely to a whole new group of people opens you up to possible new relationships. Most people don't realize that spending the time to build relationships in a foreign language can actually help you improve your language skills dramatically. In this video, we look at how making relationships in a foreign language can help you learn the language faster. The benefits of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's motivational. One of the greatest struggles for anyone learning a second language is motivation. Nine times out of 10, learners start out their language learning journey with loads of enthusiasm, only to see it gradually wane over time. Try as they may, it's difficult to maintain the spark they once shared with their new language. So why not borrow energy from a different part of your life? When you make relationships with people in your target language, all the excitement of a new relationship carries directly over into your learning. Suddenly, you have a very rewarding reason to improve your skills and keep practicing. As your partner or your friends get involved, you will also have the advantage of a constant source of support and encouragement. Second, it makes language learning practical. Studying vocabulary and grammar is a vital part of language learning, whether you use a podcast, textbook, app, or find yourself in a classroom. However, as great as studying is, a language really only starts to come alive once you start using it in everyday life. There's a huge difference between a scripted conversation in a lesson plan and a real-life conversation with a native speaker. Building relationships with native speakers will give you the chance to talk in your target language often. Furthermore, it will be in a way that feels natural. You'll learn the words in the context, which is hugely important. Third, it's fun. One of the greatest benefits is that it allows you to practice without having it feel like practice. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself so wrapped up in the conversation that you forget you're using a foreign language. This takes a lot of the pressure off and helps you focus on communication over trying to speak absolutely perfectly. You also get to learn about a whole new culture from your partner or friends. So you're not only learning language skills, but also about the cultures that surround your target language. The risks of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's easy to miscommunicate. When it comes to relationships, humans can easily misunderstand each other. So it can be hard when building relationships in your target language when you or your partner's lack of ability in each other's respective native tongue can lead to miscommunications that would otherwise be avoidable. Depending on the language you're speaking, a simple mistranslation or mispronounced word can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. As long as you can afford each other some extra patience and the benefit of the doubt, then you should be able to overcome this pitfall. Second, your language skills could suffer if your relationships don't work out. If all your language practice is wrapped up in one person and your relationship with that person doesn't work out, then your language learning could take a big hit. So it's best not to put all your hopes for language growth on one area, relationship or otherwise. You don't want to risk losing motivation, so try to find it in many different areas. An idea for building relationships in a foreign language. Make games out of getting to know one another. Sometimes, opening up in any new friendship or partnership can be hard. Add in the added struggle of a new language and it can feel impossible to share your true feelings with others. So instead of trying to take first interactions so seriously and talking about the usual things like the weather or work, try to ask new, interesting questions. Try to figure out what the other person's hobbies are without asking directly or what kind of job they have. This will give you a chance to stretch your language skills in a new way, and you'll probably get some funny answers out of it too. Being comfortable being silly or making language mistakes is a great way to bond with someone, even if you've just met. Relationships in a foreign language have a lot more benefits to offer than drawbacks. Don't be scared to open up to people and make mistakes. And for even more help to build relationships in your target language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. 
You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.